Well, I've known about Norwood's work uh, for quite some time, actually, and I'm really, really delighted and I'm privileged to be here because you understand the scope of the work, the people it reaches, the difficulties those people experience and how Norwood helps them to overcome it. It doesn't abolish the difficulty, it helps them overcome those difficulties. Uh, I think it's a quite remarkable charity and being here among the property community are always generous, I think, to charities, but to this charity in particular. That's a great way of spending, uh, spending some time. I've really loved it. Providing uh, opportunities to continue to learn and opportunities to mix socially through sport or indeed through other kinds of activities, music, whatever, is absolutely critical. It's not just that it fosters a sense of independence in people, because it certainly does that, but it's also that uh, for many people it opens doorways which means that they can work, they can get around, that they can see friends, that they are in every sense embedded in their society. If we think about our own lives and we think about what would it be like if that was stripped out from us, we understand just how important it is to do that work with people. Norwood does it exceptionally and I think it's known for it. Some, uh, some of the businesses, some of the industries have a remarkable history of association with charities. I think it's often because the people in them are used to being successful, they have the knocks like everybody else in business, but they can be successful, they can be uh, very successful and make a lot of money. But one of the things about some industries, and I think property is a very good example of it, is that people share the benefit that, that they've achieved. It's never something they just lock in and say, well, that's mine, that's all there is to it. Uh, if we had that kind of inspiration more generally, probably the idea of a big society would be one which would be shared much more widely.